I just, whatever. Don't judge me, don't, look, don't judge me, judge your mama. <laughs> Hey, good morning. I am so tired when I say just physically exhausted. I'm exhausted, but I'm up. I'm wired and it's 7.15 now. 7.15 now. My content just uploaded on my computer from my camera that I have going for you all. It's Saturday. Don't ask me why I've been up since six in the morning. My body's just weird, guys, it's just weird. Sometimes I'll fall asleep early. That's not usually likely. Usually I'm up later. And then sometimes I just wake up really early, whether I go to sleep early or late. But um, yeah, it's Saturday. So the plans for today is I'm up early, so might as well get ready to upload this uh, vlog for you all. So I'm about to edit that so it can be in time for tomorrow, Sunday. And then I'm obviously gonna record some more content um, for my next upload. So today I'm gonna take y'all to Trader Joe's, that's my favorite place. Like I said, if you guys have not checked out my reviews, I do reviews that I upload weekly. I've been uploading two a week so far, but we'll see if I continue with two or change it to one. But I do reviews, especially on Trader Joe's products. I really love Trader Joe's products. But today is just quick grabs. It's not one really interesting stuff because I'm actually doing a, a like a kind of like a cleansing type diet a reprogramming type of program i don't even want to call it a diet it's not really that it's just reprogramming your system you do lose weight obviously but it's also to get my like gut and my body back in order so i like to do it um every now and again obviously it does promote a lot of weight loss but anyways i'll fill y'all into that later that's not the important thing right now so when we go to Trader Joe's, the items aren't gonna be all that great and interesting, but they're very necessary and very affordable from Trader Joe's. So let's go ahead, edit this vlog. Then I actually need to record some reviews. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to do that. And I don't wanna overpromise, but I'm gonna also try to start on this, uh, creative project that I got going, which is this fashion um, project. I do a lot of things, guys. I'm a jack of all trades, um, and I want to work on this denim jacket. I've been um, kind of chosen to make for someone, so I'm going to try to work on that, and yeah, so stay tuned. Y'all, I am out the bed. I just finished editing. I've been editing since I told y'all I was up at like seven something. I ain't finished till nine something. And as y'all could see, that vlog was an hour long, okay? And I definitely don't want to go past an hour just because, you know, I mean, not a real TV show. Nobody wants to sit and watch past an hour. Um, so before I head to Trader Joe's, damn. I need to clean my crying pan, but before I head to Trader Joe's, I'm gonna have me some breakfast, y'all, because I've been up since I told y'all, but I, I literally have not had anything to eat yet, and it's still the morning, so I perfectly feel fine with having breakfast. Um, that's also really not so much of breakfast, because I have to go to the grocery store and get eggs. I don't have eggs, which is fine because I technically can't have regular eggs on the little reprogram system that I told y'all I'm doing. So I'm actually going to have um, this pork 
Y'all, let me tell y'all, there's always helicopters flying around here when near like big hospitals. And then also we're in the Hollywood area, right? So chances are is uh, there's always something happening. But I'm gonna have this pork. It's uh, actually carnitas that I got from, um, check and see, just a little seasoned up carnitas I got from Trader Joe's before. I'm gonna heat a little bit of that. And I'm going to eat it with these egg thin sweet potatoes and turmeric. So this was something that I was eating a lot of when I was really having like a low carb intake, which is something I'm gonna go back to. And as I told y'all, I'm gonna explain more to y'all about the program, but I don't wanna talk about the program until I have things figured out myself, right? I, if y'all know me, y'all know my reviews and stuff are always honest and I like to give y'all clear direction as to what it is I'm doing and if I suggest it, if I don't suggest it, whatever. So I am going to tell y'all more about it later, but basically I like eating those egg things because they're made out of eggs. And those ones in that case is made out of sweet potato, but they do have one that doesn't have sweet potato. Um, that's just made out of just eggs, egg white, and that's really it. But they're really good for you. There's zero net carbs, 10 calories per wrap, keto friendly. So it's not necessarily like sweet potato itself. It's sweet potato powder. Um... Because obviously, you know, if you do keto, you can't have potatoes and stuff. And I was not ever really doing keto just because to really commit fully to all of the restrictions on keto is not my interest. But also because the things that you have on keto is just also not my interest. Like eating a lot of dairy, not that you have to. There's clean keto, you don't have to eat a lot of dairy. But yeah, I just don't follow a full keto thing. But anyways, if you are keto, this is keto friendly, dairy free, gluten free, paleo friendly. So these are some nice little wraps. And I freeze them. By the way, I freeze them. So that way you don't have to worry about them going bad. Because if anything, these would have expired February of this year. But they say like, you know, if you obviously just keep them frozen, they are good. So I'm gonna heat this up. And then I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna be eating. Again, it ain't really breakfast. It's that and one of my favorite drinks that I like to make. So yeah, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. Okay, y'all, so I heated up my pork. And what I do is, just a little showy. So this is how thin they are. They are really thin, guys. They're not thick, because they're made out of eggs, right? So it's like literally translucent at this point. And I use two if I wanna eat them like a taco just to kind of give it a little bit of oomph. And then I just take some of this pork. So I mean, technically it is eggs. So I guess this is kind of like a Hispanic traditional uh, breakfast, if you will. Cause I know some cultures they'll have like some pork for breakfast. That's not bacon obviously, but like, you know, some sort of shredded pork. And this is an egg wrap versus like a tortilla. So, you know, a little bit of that, kind of like a breakfast tortilla, if you will. Um, and then I love arugula, so because I have extra and I'm a person that's really big on trying not to be wasteful, um, I try to like eat what I have in my house before I kind of like re-up on, you know, other unnecessary stuff. Oh yeah, if y'all don't know, keep a, um, this paper towel, keep it inside of your, uh, inside of your greens because if you just take it and you stick it inside of your greens like that and then you just uh, if you're keeping it in the bag just ball up the bag clip it up it'll keep the moisture out and then keep your lettuce fresher um if it's in a bowl just take the paper towel place it on top of the lettuce in the bowl and then it keeps it fresher. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of uh, 
Lighthouse Ranch just because it's, you know, a little, little like burrito, if you will. Um, this is a little bit big. Let me just take that down a notch. But uh, yeah, that's it, y'all. It's just a little quick little drizzle drazzle on top of your little breakfast taco. And then I top it off with a little bit of the uh, queso uh, cojita, cojita cheese, <laughs> uh, just a little bit, not too much, like so. You know, obviously if you have onions, whatever else you want to add on it, that's fine. This is just what's in my house. So this is um, how I'm going to eat it. And then yeah, voila, you got yourself a little uh a little little breakfast situation. Now let me show y'all my little homemade drink that I make. Okay y'all, so <sighs> bear with me, cause you know, just getting it together. But yeah, so for my drinks, I got this here. This is um a little bit of leftover chai tea that I have left. I brew my own chai tea because I like to go to Starbucks and I like to get the iced chai. But it's already like a concentrate that they already have made up. So it's like chai tea with sweetener already. And then I get oat milk or almond milk versus regular milk. Um, and then I add sugar-free vanilla, which is similar to this right here. This is the skinny syrup. Um, now these are really cool. It's zero calories, zero sugar. Problem is, is if you're... A stickler similar to what I am so I'm trying to find something to replace these actually is that these are not all that great for you because they have circulose and um, artificial flavor they do have some natural flavor but it has artificial flavor it has circulose and all that stuff and typically for like the little cleanse program I'm doing tomorrow I can't have this even though it's zero, 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 whatever, all of the other stuff that's in it, the artificial flavorings and stuff, that actually triggers, guys. So just an FYI, if you are looking to either detox or lose weight or just be super healthy, these skinny syrups, uh, Jordan skinny syrups, are also not really that healthy for you. Um, and a lot of people know that, but you know, they figure I'm sacrificing everything else. I'm not having anything else. So what the hell, at least I'll have this to make my, my normal drink taste halfway good. And you know, that's kind of how I think of it too, but I do want to find alternatives because as I told y'all, I like to use as much natural stuff as I can, but I have it and going to finish it and it is what it is. Um, not on the program, but just in general, I'm going to finish it. So what I do is, is I pour that chai tea and the reason why this chai tea is no longer like super dark because chai tea is normally naturally dark when you brew it is because I had added, let me show you, I added this Dose Inco collagen that I've actually been using. I mean, I'm not going to tell y'all that I feel like collagen makes a big difference for me. But I am going to try liquid collagen because I know that it's supposed to have good benefits for yourself. But I would rather the liquid because I hear that it's better to dissolve because this powdered collagen does not dissolve well in cold beverages and I'm not really a hot beverage person. And so the reason why it dissolved well in this chai tea is because when I brewed it, I then put the collagen in it right away so it can dissolve. And then I've just been keeping, you know, this in the refrigerator. And I usually drink this throughout the week. Or sometimes it, ha it be there for a couple weeks because I don't be wanting to. And then you take some of your vanilla. This is Trader Joe's. Take some of your vanilla unsweetened uh, almond milk or oat milk, whatever milk you want to use. And then this is basically a Starbucks copycat, y'all. Literally. So you just pour it. Now, some people put a little dash it's like how you like your coffee. If you want it creamier, if you want it not. I make it to where it can get a little bit whiter. Because I do. Let me get a straw. Um, I do like it about half and half. I don't want it too, too milky. But I don't want it too, too chai. 
So you see how the color changed? So that's probably good enough. And I don't have that much chai tea anyways left. Um, and then this Jordan's uh, Skinny Syrups. Like I said, you don't have to use a whole lot. And I love this one. This one here is Vanilla Caramel Cream. See, I can see that. It is bomb. This is one of the flavors that I really like. And then you just pour just like enough. You know, just enough to taste. Put a little ice if you want, but it's already cold, so I'm good. And yeah, it is good. It is good. See, that's all you need. So, yeah, I'm going to go on ahead and eat this little breakfast, if you will. I'm going to drink my little drink, take my little vitamins, and mind my little business. And then I'll catch up with y'all when we head to Trader Joe's. Let me just tell y'all. I did not go to Trader Joe's. I know y'all looking down on me because it's better in go to show y'all what I got. I didn't go to Trader Joe's because it is so freaking hot outside y'all. I've been laying in the house in this pajama. I gotta take a shower uh, tonight, but um, I gotta walk my dog. I gotta put these grocery away, which I wanna tell you all about it. I've been laying in my bonnet and doing all kind of other sorts of stuff. So, I'm not a person that like people to grocery shop for me. I'd rather touch my own stuff, I'd rather do my own thing. But, it was so hot today, y'all, it was so hot. And I just was like, I can't do it, I can't do it. I can't go outside on the bus today. Like, I, I just can't do it. And then it looked like the main street was blocked off. For whatever reason it was blocked off for us so I was just like honestly I can't do it so I walked my dog this morning I did what I needed to do and now I sat there and dealt with freaking Amazon fresh so I'm gonna tell you all about it because I don't know if I want to order from Amazon fresh again and this is just a personal preference it's not like they did anything wrong it's just a preference so basically my cousin had told me, girl, order Amazon Fresh. You know, I've done that a few times, it's good. So I said, okay, cool. So I go up there and let me tell y'all, Amazon Fresh is extremely confusing. When I say extremely confusing, it's extremely confusing. Like it, it's not laid out in a way that first of all, you can use mobile devices. So you can't be like on the app using, you can be on a mobile, mobile device, but you can't be on an app. Because at a certain point, it makes you, basically, it makes you continue uh, forward. Let me take y'all down. So I took y'all down. Better setup. And basically, they make you continue forward with the order using a web browser versus using the app. And once you got on the web browser, it actually laid it out better. So basically, I think it's still fairly newer to the point that they don't have it really set up properly to use the app and i should tell y'all that even though whole foods is purchased or not purchased even though whole foods and amazon is all one company now or they're partnered whatever you want to say whole foods ordering like for pickup in the store or to have delivery is in a separate section of amazon than fresh Amazon Fresh is like their baby, their entity of what they started for food delivery. Let me look for my, my ice cream while I'm telling y'all because I did order me some ice cream. Since tomorrow, I got to go hard on this, this reprogram system. So, yeah, because it's already soft, soft. So let me put this away. Um, I plan on eating some of that, honey. But, um... Amazon Fresh is something totally separate. It's basically their own thing that they came up with and it's a warehouse. Cause I was confused when I called the guy on the phone for assistance, I was like, so I'm confused. I said, because they're showing me Amazon Fresh items, like for instance, this tilapia. So I got some tilapia here. You see, I says that's the fresh and that's like the Amazon's little logo. This is Amazon Fresh. Then it was showing me 365, this is Kale, 365 Whole Foods um, food. And I'm like, okay. 
So then it shows me Purdue, and I'm like, so I'm confused. Like, I thought that maybe they had more Whole Food stuff because it said 365 and I knew they was together. But basically, I was looking for like the pre, uh, the prepared food that you normally go into Whole Foods. You know how they have like a whole salad bar, they have all these things, sandwiches, stuff. I was looking for that. Couldn't find it. And it was stressing me out because I was looking for something to eat for today because I'm shopping for this stuff for the rest of the days. And I could not find it, y'all. So finally, I just ordered the basic essentials, which I'm going to show y'all what I got because I was like, you know what? This is too stressful to be sitting here, honey, worried about anything else that I want to eat today before I basically can't eat it for a while. I was like, let me just go on ahead and just order this stuff online and just call it a day. Um, and I'll just go to the grocery store another time for whatever else I may not have been able to get. So just so y'all know, if y'all are specifically looking for all of Whole Foods stuff, go on the Amazon app and you can shop through their stuff, but you may have to check out on like a web browser. And then it'll show you their prepared salads and all of the pastries that Whole Foods sells that people usually love. All the special drinks that Whole Foods sell that people usually love. That's the stuff I was looking for for today. But anyways, I had missed the mark for Whole Foods section so I was like forget it might as well not order it because I'm not going to get it today but Amazon Fresh however gives you a larger window frame to order they give you up until I don't know like I ordered at 2 p.m. and it told me that I missed the four to six window so at 2 p.m. I wasn't able to get the delivery until the six to eight window and with that I basically had to wait the four hours or had to have a window four hours from when I ordered but then you also have those two additional hours that you're waiting for them to actually be in commute and deliver so it just got delivered to me literally and it's like 6 45 so it came before 8 cool but just so you know how Amazon fresh works in case you're confused because they do have Amazon fresh products 365 they have some of their products from Whole Foods and then they have standard like General Mills cereal and you know standard products you see everywhere else because it's a warehouse right that's what Amazon Fresh is it's a warehouse where they store all of this food and then people shop 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 and then they deliver Whole Foods will be delivering only Whole Foods food so anyways that's a little tidbit for y'all but I want to show y'all how it comes it, it, in case you don't know if you never used it. It comes like this with the bag like, you know, it says Prime and then it comes in a little brown bag. Because I guess, you know, they have it in their trucks and the little things. So a bit more eco-friendly brown paper bag. I have four bags. I already unpacked, like I showed you, the tilapia. Because these are the things that I can have on this like program. I got some ground chicken and then I got some ground turkey um essentially they do rather you on this thing like I said I'm not gonna get too far into it but they do essentially rather you have less fat because you really shouldn't have fat trims and things like that on meat so I gotta be careful when I get ground meat because you know there's a different percentages of fat versus lean um, so I usually got to look through that to make sure I'm getting more lean than fat if I do go for ground meat. Um, but essentially they do tell you to get like turkey breast, turkey chicken. But I've done this before, so I know how it works and I know how it works for my body. Once I tell you about the program, you may want to stick to what they actually say. Um, but for the most part, I do stick to what they say and that's why I have success usually. Got some egg whites because you can't have uh yolk and then i showed y'all that i got the chopped kale i don't know i recently over the year got really into kale but if it's chopped and if it's prepared properly i got some romaine lettuce i was gonna get the heads because i like to chop them up because i feel like you get more for your money i feel like you get three big heads and it's for the same price as a bag but i was like you know what let me just get this it's on sale i did get some apples i only got a couple i can go back and get more when I need to I got an onion which guys that's another thing why I'm just weird about people shopping for me because I love grocery shopping and I love cooking like that's a personal thing for me 
so when someone else is doing it for me it's just different it's weird and I mean it is kind of cool to have the convenience of like oh wow I didn't even leave my house and it's I literally didn't leave my house today besides walking my dog in I got grocery like that's magical but it's just an experience for me I like to go I like to choose the right things but I mean from what it seems like and guys I am gonna I'm trying to be crazy but I I have this stuff you don't see it but I have this stuff laid on a towel and I am gonna like Lysol some stuff I know it probably sounds a little obsessive but that's just my choice um now see this one I'm talking about like normally I like the I hate when apples are janky looking that's what I say I don't know if y'all can see this apple look look like look at the shape of this apple and look how it's not even perfectly rounded I be that kind of stresses me out this one's perfect and this one's perfect but it's like why you gave me that janky one like I don't know those are just little nitpicking things that I do or like this onion because I normally am just one person here I would normally get a bigger onion this is like not as big so this ain't gonna last me throughout the week for different meals so it's just little stuff like that that I kind of like get a little picky about but whatever I didn't have to go out in the heat so I can't complain too much um I got some cuties let me tell y'all, cuties is expensive. I don't know if y'all buy cuties, but cuties is not cheap. You hear me? This this three pound bag of cuties was seven dollars, honey. I'm like, I don't know why cuties are so daggone pricey. I got a cabbage because this is something that I can also have, so I'll chop that up and then you know saute it. Honestly, guys, this kind of program works. Because these are the staples of what you will eat in the three week time in the three week time period. This is this is what you eat, right? Like, I mean, there's other little options. They give a lot of beef options, but I don't eat beef. And then they give a good amount of seafood options. Um, so that's cool because I like seafood. And then the other protein that they give besides beef would be chicken and then turkey. But you can't get fancy like you can't get like turkey sauce so um turkey sausage sausage or chicken sausage that has like sugars added into it oils and all this stuff added into it because you can't do that kind of thing. so i got a thing of strawberries okay they look mm, they look all right yeah they mm, no see what i mean one of them's all beat up right there i just uh Anyways, it doesn't matter. It's fine. That's just me being picky again. Um, so that's it for this bag. Um, let's see. That's it for that bag. It's hard. Okay. Oh, I did get blueberries. So that's another thing that you can have. Okay. Let me grab my little Lysol. Hi. Got my Lysol. I, look, I know y'all might be like, Bessie, is it really all that serious? The fruit, I don't care too much about because obviously I'm going to lice all that. Like, I got to eat it. But, like, these little packages and stuff, so I'm going to just slice off some of this stuff. And the fruit, I'm not worried, like I said, because I'm going to, um, I wash these anyways with some, like, Trader Joe's cleaner that I have. So... Yeah, I don't care all that deep about that. So all the fruits I'll put back in the bag because you know you're gonna wash that kind of thing. But just like I don't know, just packaging. I just whatever. Don't judge me. Don't look. Don't judge me. Judge your mama. <laughs> oh man, I know y'all think I'm crazy, but it is what it is. Okay. Um, I think we all have had our little share of crazy in this pandemic where we just a little bit stir crazy about what's happening. Okay, so don't judge me, judge your mama, judge your papa, your auntie, your cousins, but don't judge me, okay? Hey guys, hey, so today is Sunday and I've just been kind of chilling in the house just hanging out not doing any um crazy stuff today 
I've just been really tired and exhausted and just not really interested in doing a whole lot this weekend. Um, but I did start Obama off on the fish diet that he's supposed to be on that I mentioned in the last vlog where he's not supposed to be having chicken, beef, lamb, all that good stuff. Um, so he's supposed to be just doing different kinds of fish for the next eight weeks or so. Um, so I'm, I'm just now starting this. So I'd say probably all of September, all of October, maybe by November, he can get back into that. If we see that those weren't the problems, but anyways, the vet had said technically they didn't want him having treats because they wanted him to have very minimal um, ingredients. But I think that goes to say for people that give their dogs treats to have a whole bunch of other stuff inside of it. And he doesn't typically get treats that's full of fillers and things of that nature. So I did ask the vet if he could have treats that's 100% fish. And he was just kind of like, yeah, if you want to do the homework on finding the treats that's only 100% fish, then sure. But if you can't find that, then he doesn't suggest it. But I like to do my research. So I already know there's like a boutique dog uh, or pet store near my house that sells those kind of things. They're a little bit more pricier, but I like to give in great things um as i do for myself so we're going to go run there now it's already 5 45 and they close at 7 since it's sunday so i'm going to run up there and see if i can just get him one bag of treats because i feel bad throughout the day i like to give him one or two treats and i haven't really been able to because everything else has all the stuff he's not supposed to have so anyways we're gonna run up there so i'll take you all with me to the store and get him some salmon treats. Oh, by the way, I am wearing one of my, so on the weekends, as I told y'all, I like to wear just plain t-shirts. This one here is the Boston Police uh, logo for t-shirts. Um, I got this doing a very big project that was pretty major in my life. Uh, so that's why I'm wearing that. And yeah, so I just want to share that just because if it's the weekend, y'all most likely going to see me in a t-shirt. If it's a weekday, you may see me looking a lot cuter. But uh, yeah, so come with me and let's go to the pet store. Hey y'all, so I'm walking to the pet store now. Um, I actually enjoy walking down this one street because it's... Um, more of a neighborhoody type of street, if that makes sense. Where it's a lot of trees, greenery, and people's houses. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do now. And I will show y'all a little bit of the cool houses if I come across them. Cause I am into architecture, as some of y'all may know. I am a professional interior designer. So that is what I do, among other things. So I like walking down the street just because there's like really cool houses. But Obama's about to enjoy it. He's also about to say hi to his friend right now. Let me show you. Obama, say hi to Fellini. Y'all, I am literally minding my business, walking my dog. As I told y'all, I was going to show y'all a little building. But apparently one of my neighbors decided to stop and have like a 30 minute lecture about people vaccinated or not vaccinated and how people that aren't vaccinated are basically irresponsible and basically fuck ups in life is what she was saying. And I told her, I said, look, I don't really want to stand here and have this conversation because I feel like basically who are you to tell somebody what they should and should not do with their lives? Like I respect people having opinions and that's why I even stood there in the first place that long to con you know, continue the conversation. But when I say, if I wasn't a person that literally, hello, <gasps> it's okay. If, if, if I wasn't a person that has like thicker skin and personally didn't give a fuck about what people had to say, I know other people that would have cursed her ass out 
or probably slapped her in her mouth for the shit that she was saying. And again, I told her it was not about what she had to say because I've listened to so many people with their thoughts and opinions about what they needed to say. But it was more so about how she was saying it. It was more so, I had to tell her, I was like, it's more so about what you're saying. It sounds like you're attacking people. And, you know, the way that I can say is when you have a conversation with somebody next time, know how you're talking to them. Because it cannot end well with the way that you're speaking. And she's like, oh, I just care about you. And I'm just like, you don't need to care about me. You don't know me. You know me from walking around with my dog. And I do appreciate people if they do care. But when your care comes off as being kind of like, I don't know, being kind of ignorant about how you're saying things, then I don't want to have a conversation with you. And I told her, I said, look, I've had conversations with people that I know basically didn't like me because of the color of my skin. I was like, but because we were able to have this thoughtful conversation, and I may not agree with everything that they had to say. Some of the things of what they had to say was valid enough for me to listen. Doesn't mean I agree with it or not. And I'm a Libra, so I, I outweigh things, right? I, I listen to people and I, you know, I weigh things out. But I was just like, I'm just letting you know, it's Sunday. I'm walking my dog and minding my business, trying to enjoy the weather and go to the store and you stopping me with some bullshit that I don't want to hear about. So anyways, I'm going to get to the store and I'm going to purchase what I was trying to purchase. And hopefully, you know, the sun's still out so I can be able to show y'all some lovely houses that I enjoy seeing. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to come back and make sure that I closed the vlog out. I hope you guys enjoyed and was really interested in knowing about my um, journey with the Amazon Fresh and just watching me, um, I don't know, just hanging out with me. So thank you for hanging out with me.